So uh, why we, we were interested in uh, human pancreatic uh, cancer, and in particular human pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Uh, this is a very rapidly fatal disease with the lowest survival rate, which is approximately 2%, so it's a very, very bad tumor. Uh, it is highly resistant to both uh, chemotherapy and uh, radiation therapy. And uh, one of the reasons of, this, uh, of, this, uh, of the poor uh, diagnosis is the lack of the, uh, an efficacious diagnostic marker and uh, complex in general. The, 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 this, this tumor is the first leading cause of cancer death. We uh, were in particular interested in, uh, in uh, um, found tumor-associated antigen to this tumor in order to develop some uh, uh, diagnostic uh, strategy to, to found a, a early markers and also to identify some markers and some uh, tumor associated antigen to direct uh, uh, pot possible uh, immunotherapy. Uh, our, our idea was that uh, when, the, when uh, tumor cells can uh, deliver antigen that uh, is uh, ta taken up by dendritic cells and when dendritic cells were reach the lymph node, they can uh, display some peptides to CD4 and CD8 T cells. And uh, CD4 is very important uh, T cell subset because uh, uh, once activated can release cytokine and, and help uh, the differentiation and generation of uh, cytotoxic T cells. But uh, CD4 can also promote the antibody production by B cells. So our idea was that uh, if uh, we were able to identify some antibody against uh, uh, antigen, this antigen can be also able to, the, to activate uh, at T-cell responses. And uh, to do this, we uh, plan a serological proteome analysis and, uh, in which uh, we started from a pancreatic cancer cell line CFPAC1. This is the 2D Western blot uh, images of these uh, of the proteins uh, uh, solved uh, in, uh, in Western blot uh, in, of this cell line, and we use uh, this uh, map to uh, analyze the reactivity of the antibody circulating in the in the, in the blood of pancreatic cancer to see what antibody we're able to. Uh, found uh, to recognize uh, antigen. Uh, when uh, this, uh, this uh, analysis was uh, allowed by the using uh, of a spectrometry analysis that allow us to recognize and uh, to, uh, to identify the, the sequence of the antigen that were recognized. This is the map in which many of the antigens that induce antibody response uh, were reported. And uh, this approach uh, allow us to identify a series of uh, antigen that specifically induces, induce the uh, antibody in pancreatic cancer, but not in LT subject and other controlled groups. We we're particularly interested in this uh, antigen, alpha enolase, which is very important for us because uh, most of patients of pancreatic cancer uh, have circulating anti antibody against uh, enolase. It is quite interesting protein as uh, it is a glycolytic enzyme. It's involved in the pyruvite synthesis, so it has a very important metabolic role but it's also important because it, it, it is a plasminogen receptor. So it binds plasminogen and activates a plasmin cascade. And this is, so in this way, it is involved in spreading and metastasization of the, of the tumor cells. We found that enolase is enhanced in pancreatic cancer. So on, on normal pancreas, this expression is, is 
pretty low, and then increase in, uh, in, uh, in patients in, in, in pancreatic cancer tissue. And this is the <coughs> graph uh, reporting the Western blot uh, quantification of the expression of, of enolase. So generally, it, it, it is increased. When uh, we solve the, the uh, when we analyze enolase by two, two dimensional Western blot analysis, we found that enolase consists of six different isoforms that have the same molecular uh, weight, but have different uh, uh, acidity. And this is the antibody, that uh, anti-enolase that recognizes those isoforms. What we have uh, observed was that in healthy serum, there are some antibodies that uh, recognize four of these isoforms. But in the, in, the, in the serum of pancreatic cancer, there are only in pancreatic cancer serum, there are antibodies that recognize the acidic isoform of alpha enolase. And this uh, uh, recognition is very specific because uh, when we look at the, uh, uh, in uh, 120 Pedaxera, we found uh, that over 60% of patients produce antibodies that recognize these two acidic uh, isoforms. Uh, whereas uh, uh, LT subject, no, non PDAC uh, tumor patients, uh, pan um, chronic pancreatitis uh, patients, or uh, autoimmune disease patients do not, almost do not express this, this kind of, of antibody. So it's very specific. <coughs> and this is very important because uh, through this, this kind of antibody that uh, recognize the acidic uh, isoform of alphenolase, we can discriminate between healthy subject and pancreatic cancer. It is uh, of clinical relevance that uh, we observe that the presence of the antibody against the two isoforms that we call NOA1.2 where uh, uh, a, a survival advantage compared to the, the patient that uh, don't, do not have the antibody against the, the two isoforms. So this is the progression-free survival. This is general survival, which is, a, is higher in, 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 in patients that uh, have those antibodies. And uh, interestingly, we also look at, the, at the, this marker, which is called CA19.9, which is a, is a, is, is a most uh, um, important uh, serum marker that is used in gastrointestinal cancer. It is not so uh, very uh, good for, 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 the, for the diagnosis. It is often used uh, to, to follow the progression of the cancer because uh, it is quite a specific. But when, when we look, look at the, the combination of uh, CR99.9 that uh, uh, it, is, it is considered uh, um, pathologic when, 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 the, when the concentration is over 37 percent, uh, 37 uh, international units. And when you look at the, for the presence of CR90.9 with uh, the out antibody against uh, uh, NO1.2, we found that the combination has, uh, had a very, very uh, efficient ability to discriminate the, the, the pancreatic cancer from control. This uh, rock analysis was conducted on a, on a set of uh, advanced PDAC, but the same uh, uh, efficiency, which is about ni is ni 95%, we, we, we found in, in resectable uh, PDAC patients. So the resectable patients were, were patients that uh, uh, underwent uh, surgery and were considered earlier than advanced patients that uh, usually undergo uh, chemotherapy. <coughs> uh, chemotherapy. So further uh, mass spectrometry analysis that we, we, we did in collaboration with uh, Liotta and Petrico in uh, laboratory at Mason University, uh, we analyzed the, 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 the each of, of these, uh, of these uh, isoforms, and we found that in, in the isoform one and two, there were a 
clear phosphorylation, isoform, phosphorylation isoform of alpha enolase, which was not present in the other uh, isoform. So, what, uh, what this, 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 this observation indicated that the alpha enolase can be phosphorylated in this uh, serine at position 419, and uh, this epitope is. Uh, is the ep epitope that is recognized by antibody in the uh, pancreatic cancer patient. So we, uh, this allow us to develop an ELISA by, by uh, generating a peptides that contain this phosphorylated uh, residues. And as you can see, in ELISA, the sera from pancreatic cancer recognize uh, uh, significantly better uh, contain autoantibody against this, uh, this uh, um, peptide compared to the other control group. So the possibility to capture autoantibody against uh, phosphorylated uh, enolase can be a, a diagnostic tool to discriminate uh, pancreatic cancer from control. And then, more recently, we, have a, we collaborate together um, Giuseppe Maruccio at CNR in, uh, in Lecce, which led a nanotechnology laboratory, and together uh, this colleague, we develop a biosensor which is based on uh, a technique that, that is called electrochemical impedance spectroscopy in which the, the, the chips is functionalized with, uh, with the uh, phosphopeptide against uh, enolase or with uh, a peptide which is not uh, contain uh, phosphate uh, residues. And when uh, the antibody binds the, the, this, this uh, uh, peptide, when, when in the biosensor uh, uh, electrical uh, field is applied, uh, the system can measure the, the, the impedance, which is a measure that uh, is, is linked to the uh, electric resistance. And as you can see, uh, when, when uh, the, on the phosphopeptide, uh, the uh, LT serum was applied, there was no, no, no signal, but the signal was clear increase when the uh, sera that contain out antibody against, uh, against uh, phosphorylated isoform uh, uh, <coughs> greatly increase the signal. And uh, whereas uh, a serum that uh, uh, contain uh, uh, antibody that don't, don't recognize the phosphorylated isoform gave uh, negative results, uh, no signal. And no signal were also, uh, were also observed on uh, when we use the and phosphorylated peptide. So we can uh, say that uh, phosphoenolase is able to discriminate uh, PDAC patients from control with high uh, sensitivity and specificity, may have a diagnostic and prognostic value, and uh, identification of unique phosphorylation in serine 419 allow us the, the, the development of technique that uh, to capture out antibody to phosphoenolase in PDAC patients. So the second point we, we want to discuss, discuss is, the, is the role of alpha enolase in, uh, in bind plasminogen because uh, uh, enolase can be uh, expressed on the surface of the, of the cells can concentrate plasminogen and uh, uh, allows to urokinase plasminogen activator to activate plasminogen, transform it in plasmin, and, acti and uh, activating the pathway that leads to the degradation of, fib of fibrin and uh, uh, extracellular matrix through the, uh, the degradation of laminin and fibronet. So all these uh, all these uh, uh, phenomena leads to tissue invasion and those are also in metastatization. Those are eight analysis of eight human pancreatic cell lines 
where we look at for the expression of surface alpha rays, and as you can see most of them express high level of, uh, uh, of uh, alpha enolase. And uh, to look at the role of this, uh, of this uh, receptor, we uh, established a, a test of invasion in which uh, pancreatic cancer cells were put in a, a well so that contained matrigel, and we looked at, the, at the, their ability to cross the membrane when plasminogen was uh, <coughs> added to the, to the culture. As, as you can see, uh, on BXPC3, that was a, a cell that do not express alpha enolase on, on the surface, the plasminogen did, did not induce any invasion, but on CFPAC cells, uh, this uh, uh, plasminogen induced uh, the invasion, and this invasion was blocked by the presence of antibody that uh, against uh, alpha enolase. So the blocking of, uh, of the alpha enolase through the monoclonal antibody inhibit the invasion through the, uh, induced by plasminogen. Another, uh, to further confirm the requirement of the, of the uh, alpha uh, in for the plasminogen dependent migration was the, uh, was the silencing by SH uh, RNA and we, we silence uh, enola uh, enolase expression on CFPAC1 and as you can see uh, the cells in which uh, Enolase was functionally <coughs> silenced, were uh, completely unable to, to, to respond in, uh, to the plasminogen and invade the matrigen. These uh, observations, uh, those observations led us to, to, to move in a in vivo experiment in which uh, immunodepressed uh, mice, immuno, uh, kid uh, mice were uh, uh, injected with uh, 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 antibody against the enolase and, uh, and then uh, challenged uh, with the CFPAC that uh, contained luciferase uh, uh, gene to, to, be, to be followed in, in vivo an, uh, imaging and we treated biweekly uh, the mice with the uh, antibodies until 35 days and uh, we observed that this treatment were able to the, uh, diminish the masses of the, of, the, of the tumor that spread into the mice. Uh, this model was not so efficient in induced metastatization at, at, uh, at lung but uh, however we, we, we observed that uh, the treatment with antinolase antibody uh, induced a reduction of the number of mass even there was not a, a significant difference. So this uh, uh, pushed us to, to move on another kind of the experiment with, with the help of, uh, of the Oscar uh, and, uh, <coughs> and Marco Bestagno in which uh, we expressed the anti enolase monoclonal antibody in adenovirus associated virus and uh, we move uh, to the other model of, of skid mice that, uh, this, this, that uh, metastatize, uh, metastatize better at, uh, at, lung, at lung and uh, in this case we pretreated uh, uh, the mice with uh, adeno associated virus or control and after seven days we inject uh, CFPAC cells and after 30 days we looked at the, at the lung, uh, we sacrificed the mice and we looked at the, at the at the lung for the, to observe the, the metastasis. Uh, notably, uh, this uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, minus seven days from the, to the, from the challenge and, uh, and to look at day seven and day 28, we observed that uh, the um, adenovirus associated uh, allowed the, the, the presence of increased amount of anti-enolase monoclonal antibody in, in the serum of the mice and when uh, this, this antibody was, was, uh, was extremely 
efficient in block the metastasis of the uh, at, at lung in, in, in the mice. Here it is the metastasis of the control. The, the lung are, are very are filled by the uh, tumor cells, and these there are m m many areas that were free from metastasis. So those those data clearly in, uh, indicate that uh, the targeting of alpha enolase by antibody can be a very promising approach uh, for the immunotherapy, passive immunotherapy against uh, uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, another Another point that uh, it's, 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 uh, it's interesting is about alpha enolase that uh, alpha enolase is uh, able to induce antibody against uh, it because B cell can capture enolase, can internalize, internalize this antigen and, uh, and uh, display this peptide to CD4 and CD8. So this antibody, uh, this uh, B cell can differentiate in plasma cells and produce a circulating antibody, but uh, in parallel there was uh, a parallel, a coordinated uh, activation of CD8 and CD4. So we look at, at, the, uh, at the possibility that alpha enolase can induce an efficient uh, CD8 and CD4 response that leads to the elimination of tumor. And uh, Paola Cappello, since uh, in 2000, 2009, uh, did a very interesting uh, observation that uh, by showing that uh, there is a coordinating uh, humor and cellular response in pancreatic cancer patients. Uh, this is the, the analysis of PBMC from the patients who produce circulating antibody against uh, alpha enolase. And those patients, those, those uh, PBNC, when were restimulated, stimulated in vitro with recombinant alpha enolase, produce uh, uh, interferon gamma against, uh, as, as, a, as a immune response against the stimulation. And this, uh, and this production can be can be done after 40 hours of stimulation or after in, vi in vitro expansion. And most of these, of these PBNC produce interferon gamma. By contrast, in, patient, in PBNC from patients that do not uh, display antibody against the uh, alpha enolase, the stimulation with recombinant alpha enolase did not result in any uh, interferon gamma production. So there is a, a strictly connection between the ability of T cells to, to respond to enolase with the, with the presence of the antibody. Uh, we also uh, 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 note that uh, per peripheral blood lymphocytes, when stimulated in vitro with uh, uh, alpha enolase, were able to produce another cytokine, which has a very important uh, role in uh, inflammation, namely IL-17, which was uh, uh, mm, produced uh, in, uh, in a significantly higher amount uh, in, uh, in, in the dark patients compared to healthy. So both uh, TLPR1 that produce a subset of, of, of CD4 that produce interferon gamma and TLPR17 subset that are CD4 that produce IL, IL17 can be activated by by alpha enolase and uh, Paola to confirm uh, the effect of the of the of the, of the alpha enolase uh, in, 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 induced, uh, in inducing T cell response generate uh, uh, an experiment in which uh, um, CD40 positive cells from blood of uh, healthy subject were uh, uh, were induced to be Mm, differentiate to, to differentiate in, in, in immature dendritic cells through the, by using uh, GMCSF and dial 4 and uh, these immature dendritic cells were, were pulsed uh, with the recombinant alpha enolase and were, uh, were uh, pushed to be differentiated in, uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, mature dendritic cells and uh, uh, those dendritic cells uh, that were pulsed with, re uh, with recombinant alpha enolase were cultured with autologous uh, T cells for five 
seven day in order to, to generate proliferative response or uh, cytotoxic uh, cells. And uh, what we was very clear was that the alpha enolase, when we was used to pulse dendritic cells, in clearly induced proliferation of CD4 and CD8 cells. Here you can see that uh, when uh, unpulsed DC, we're not able to induce any proliferative response in both CD4 and CD, uh, CD8. When we pulsed uh, dendritic cells with uh, non-relevant uh, antigens such as albumin, there was no proliferative response, but, enol but enolase induced a dose response uh, uh, induced a proliferation of both CD8 and CD4 in, uh, in uh, dose-dependent manner when it was used to pulse dendritic cells. So there is no doubt that uh, alpha enolase can be uh, seen by CD4 and CD8 and, 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 and that, that cells can be activated. Uh, then we also looked at the uh, cytolytic ability of cells that recognize alpha enolase and also in this case we, we, we got interesting results because uh, we uh, generated in vitro co-culturing co uh, uh, dendritic cell with T cells the, uh, the, the cytotoxic T cells and uh, these cytotoxic T cells was, uh, uh, was evaluated in, uh, in the ability to lyse, to lyse uh, uh, CFPAC, pancreatic cancer cells, those, uh, those cells express uh, A2, uh, MACA2, and, and those are, are, are MAC matched with, with the donor. And also we used the PANC1 to, to look at the cytotoxicity, and we observed that cyt cytotoxic T cells were able to, lead to, to, to kill both cell line. This uh, uh, killing was uh, inhibited by the presence of anti-HLA class 1 antibody indicated that, that this uh, uh, killing is mediated by CD8, but was not uh, inhibited by, by anti-HLA class 2. Uh, so, so this, this uh, uh, cytotoxicity fully depends on CD8 cells. But what is very interesting was that uh, those C CTL were not able to kill the uh, normal keratinocytes, indicating that uh, uh, alpha enolase, or, or, or better, indicated that uh, CTL kill only the tumor cells and spare uh, non transformed cells, and these uh, difference is due to the level of expression of alpha enolase because in tumor cells alpha enolase is expressed threefold <coughs> uh, level were threefold higher than uh, uh, keratinocyte. This is very important because uh, in a therapeutic setting this indicates that immunization with alpha enolase spur the uh, or generation of, 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 uh, of CTL uh, spare the uh, normal tissue and only caused the, the killing of the, of the tumor cells. So these uh, CTL that were generated in vitro were also able in vivo to kill pancreatic cancer cells. And in a typical win assay, we generated CTL from, uh, from uh, culturing with uh, dendritic cells and we put uh, these two cells together CFPAC1 and we injected skid mice and uh, uh, when the uh, CFPAC1 were uh, injected alone they, they, they grew and uh, the same uh, occur, uh, occur when uh, CFPAC1 were uh, uh, injected together unstimulated T cells but when CFPAC1 were injected with alpha enolase stimulated T cells, there was a complete uh, inhibition of the, of, the, of the in vitro growth. And uh, uh, the inhibition also uh, worked in a therapeutic setting because in this uh, uh, experiment, uh, uh, the, 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 the CFPAC cells were uh, injected subcut. We waiting for the, for the implantation of the tumor and then after some days we injected uh, T cells, I IV, and as you can see 
the, 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 uh, the presence of alpha enolase, the injection of alpha enolase stimulated T cells significantly block the growth of the, of the tumor. So this, uh, this uh, uh, approach was also effective in, in, uh, in a therapeutic setting. So the other, so the conclusion of this of this uh, of this first uh, part of, 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 of the research indicated uh, us that anti alpha enolase peripheral T cells response can be elicited uh, in both healthy and uh, PDAC uh, patients. But uh, the the question was: Do anti enolase specific T cells can be detected in pancreatic tumor, and what about their functional profile? Uh, before to, 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 to show you the data, I will just uh, summarize uh, what immunology know about this, the, T, the, T set, the T subset that control immune response. And uh, from uh, naive cells, T cell can be differentiated in uh, TH1 uh, cells that uh, produce interferon gamma, express Tibet, and STAT4. And those uh, TH, TH1 cells. Uh, are uh, thought to be involved in immunity to intracellular pathogen and, and even in tumor. They can also differentiate in TH2 cells. Uh, they express uh, GATA3 and STAT6 stat uh, transcriptional factor, and they secrete IL4. They are involved uh, in immunity to extracellular pathogen, are involved in allergy, they promote B cell, but uh, in, in, in many, many, many data indicate that the presence of TH2 cells in tumor have a pro-tumoral uh, effect. They, they counteract uh, the effector function. And uh, there are some uh, um, T cells that in presence of IL-10 or TGF-beta differentiate in FOXP3, which is positive, which is another uh, transcriptional factor that, uh, uh, that uh, allow the cells to develop in, uh, into T regulatory cells phenotype. And uh, those, T cell, those uh, cells were able to uh, inhibit the effector uh, T cell response and, are, and, uh, and are they, their presence in the, in, the, in the tumor is considered uh, to protumoral and inhibit uh, um, the immune, immune cells uh, to, 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 to kill tumor. And uh, also naive T cells can, can differentiate in uh, TL per 17 cells that express ROR gamma T and STAT3 transcriptional factor, they produce IL-17 and they are thought to be uh, involved in inflammation, autoimmunity, response to fungi, and uh, even the, they, they, they role in, uh, against tumor is not uh, uh, clarified uh, very well. So we look at the, uh, in vitro clonal analysis of enolase-specific T cells, uh, these uh, experiments were, were done in collaboration with uh, Amedeo Medei at the University of Florence. And what we, we done was to analyze uh, 15 patients that underwent uh, surgery. And we took biopsy from, from these uh, patients and generate uh, T cell clone from these, uh, from these uh, uh, patients. And uh, what was very important uh, 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 at the first uh, uh, observation was that uh, when we look at the specificity of this clone from the total clone that we clone, uh, we obtain uh, uh, over uh, uh, 500 clones, 90% of them were specific for alpha enolase. But what is very interesting was that uh, when we generate the clone in, the r in different uh, uh, part of the tumor, we use the healthy mucosa to, to generate clone uh, by using a T lymphocyte uh, uh, that infiltrate this mucosa, uh, we obtain uh, a certain number of clone and only 9% were, were positive for alpha enolase. When we look at, the, uh, when we generate clones at the marginal tumor area that surround the, the, the tumor, we uh, obtain a little bit higher percentage of alpha enolase specific clones. And when we look at the central tumor area, we got a very 25% uh, of specific uh, alpha enolase specific T cells. 
But when we look at the, at the, at the uh, functional profiling by looking at the, at the cytokine release of, of these uh, T cells, we observe interesting that uh, TH1 and TH17 that can be uh, considered as effector T cells were uh, um, present in healthy mucosa and for example TH1 uh, slightly decrease in the central tumor. TL17 for example is, is, is well rep the, the percentage is well represented uh, well represented in healthy mucosa and this percentage, percentage decrease uh, reach 30% in central tumor. So there is a decrease of TL per 17. But when we look at that TL, TH0 and TH2 and, uh, and uh, most uh, importantly at TREG cells, we observe that their percentage increase in the central tumor. So what uh, what uh, uh, happened when the, when, the, when, the, when the tumor growth in, in the pancreas is that in the healthy mucosa there are mostly uh, effector T cells that are able to counteract tumor. But uh, when uh, uh, in the area, uh, in the marginal tumor, in particular in the central tumor, there is, uh, there is still a significant presence of TH1 and TH17, but there is a strong increase of TH2 and T regulatory cells that uh, uh, have a role in uh, block, in inhibit, and frustrate the effector uh, response against the tumor. Um, what is very interesting was that when we look at the, uh, at the cytolytic activity of the clones TH17 and TH1 by uh, setting a specific uh, chromo release uh, assay, we observed that uh, those clones that were from uh, um, healthy mucosa were very uh, able to, to kill ABV cells that were pulsed with alpha enolase. But uh, when we took uh, the central tumor clones, their cytolytic ability was strongly reduced indicating that uh, in the central area there is uh, uh, cells that block the, the, the cytolytic activity of the, of the TH1 and TH17 cells. In effect, we were able to uh, evaluate the, the suppression ability of the, of the Treg clones. The, we analyzed all these Treg clones and we put together this clone together a factor clone in the presence of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, dendritic cells that were loaded with alpha enolase and, uh, and uh, most of them of this clone were able to block the proliferation of a factor t cell of the of the factor clone indicated that this suppression is antigen specific because when we use the uh, the tetanic tosoid loaded T cells to an, an, an specific clone against the tosoid tetanic, this, the, this uh, proliferation was not uh, shut off by the, by the regulatory cells. So in, this indicates that uh, in the central area of the pancreatic cancer tumor, there are dendritic cells together, effector T cells, but the, 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 these, the, those dendritic cells are antigen specific, able to uh, inhibit uh, effector T cells. So the conclusion of this, of this observation uh, tell us that PDAC tissue are infiltrated by enolase specific TH1 and TH17 effector cells. Tell us that uh, in the central tumor area there are T-regs that are enolase specific uh, they are able to frustrate effector T cell functions. And this data fit uh, in well with other indicating that uh, the microenvironment of the tumor provides cytokine signal that favor TH2 differenti uh, differentiation, uh, for example, at this thymic stromal <coughs> lymphopoietin that are reported to be deviate the, 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 the differentiation toward TH2 and also T-regs because uh, 
there is a lot of TGF beta that is produced by tumor that can uh, push the differentiation of, the, of, of, of uh, TH1 or TH17, TH17 cells uh, toward the regulatory uh, phenotype. And this way counteracts TH1, TH17 effector anti tumor function. So the last uh, point. Uh, we, we, I would like to discuss is it is possible to exploit enolase to develop a vaccine in pancreatic cancer. And also this, uh, uh, this experiment was, was uh, set up uh, taking into consideration that, uh, that uh, pancreatic cancer cancerogenesis is a step uh, Require different step of, of mutation because uh, the, the normal epithelium can be um, can be uh, transformed initially by the precancer lesion, and th these precancer uh, lesion are characterized uh, mostly by Keras mutation. But then there are many other mutations that can uh, can uh, occur, and and then uh, the, the, those uh, precancer lesion can transform in C2. Uh, cancer and uh, metastatic cancer. Um, we, we took advantage from uh, two models of, uh, of, uh, of uh, mice that uh, uh, likely represent the, are a very good model for, for the human, mouse model from, from, uh, of, of human uh, pancreatic cancer. Those mice, those mice uh, uh, carry a Keras mutation specifically in the pancreas uh, through the, the expression in the, in the, uh, by, by using the promoter of PDX1, uh, uh, which is a gene expressed uh, selectively in the pancreas. And uh, these uh, mice uh, that, uh, that are uh, expressed uh, the Keras in, 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 in the pancreas are, are called uh, uh, KC mice. They develop uh, spontaneously uh, pancreatic cancer. The other model is, is, a, is, a, is a mice that carry both uh, Keras and P53 under the pro, under PDX1 promoter and uh, those mice uh, also develop spontaneous uh, pancreatic cancer mm, in, a, in a faster way than, than uh, uh, KC mice that are called KPC. Uh, on, by using these mice, we develop a DNA-based immunotherapy against uh, alpha enolase, and, uh, uh, and uh, Paola set up a very long time consuming experiment by using a PVAX vector in which was cloned uh, the human alpha enolase uh, gene. The, the, the choose to, to use human alpha enolase that there is a very high uh, homology between uh, uh, between uh, human enolase and, and mouse enolase is over 97 percent, and uh, the this uh, uh, DNA was injected in the femoral muscle of the of the of the of the mice together uh, uh, electroporation, which uh, uh, facilitate the, the, the integration of DNA in the, in the cells, and then uh, those, those uh, vaccination was was uh, was did after four weeks uh, uh, after birth of the mice, and were repeated uh, uh, twice, and uh, after mm, after seven uh, weeks and ten weeks, the, the sera was uh, was. Uh, Drown and and uh, to to look at the antibody uh, tighter detection and also the the, the some of, of, of these uh, mice were sacrificed uh, and 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 was look at, uh, and the spleen was was utilized to to in vitro experiment to measure um, immunological functions. What we Observed first was this that was uh, that the, the enolase vaccinated mice serum contained very high titer of the antibody against the enolase compared to the non-treated and empty vac uh, vaccination empty vax vaccination mice. It was observed that after 36 weeks, when we look at the 
at the number of the percentage of transformed duct in the pancreas, and uh, uh, there was a sin significant uh, reduction of the, of the transformed duct in uh, NO1 vaccinated mice compared to non untreated and, and, uh, and uh, empty vaccinated mice. But what was very uh, impressive for us was that uh, both kind of mice when we look at their survival, there was a, 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 an increase of survival of mice that was about 30% of the, of, the, of, the, of the life expectancy of the mice. And this kind of survival was, was never seen in ever, in ever a model of pancreatic uh, cancer mouse because, uh, because uh, the tumor is very, is very, is very, is very bad, it's very aggressive. And uh, so this, 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 this survival was observed in both KPC and KC mice. What uh, immunological mechanisms underlie this uh, effect of vaccination? First of all, we were able to, to show that uh, antibody were able to recognize the surface of the, of the pancreatic cancer line that uh, that uh, were derived from, the, from, the, from these mice. And as you can see, this is the sera of uh, uh, empty vaccinated mice that, uh, that, that uh, specifically recognize uh, the surface of this uh, cell line that uh, was derived from, uh, from uh, K KC mice. But uh, uh, sera of vaccinated mice uh, induced a higher signal in uh, recognition in these cells. But most importantly, we were, uh, uh, we observed that uh, uh, the antibody from uh, NOLase vaccinated mice were able to induce efficiently a uh, um, complement dependent uh, cytotoxicity compared to the sera from uh, empty vaccinated mice. And this was uh, uh, observed in, 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 in both cell lines that were, de were derived uh, uh, from uh, KC and KPC mice, respectively. When we look at the at T cells compartment, we observed that uh, <coughs> there was a, 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 a big infiltration of CD3 T cells in the, in the, in the pancreas of uh, NOLase NO vaccinated uh, mice compared to the non-treated and empty. And when the spleen of those mice were, uh, were used to, to evaluate in, in vitro the effect of the stimulation of the, of the uh, with the recombinant alpha NOLase, uh, we observed that uh, uh, in a, T cells from spleen of NOLase uh, vaccinated mice uh, were much more uh, able to, to produce uh, IL-17 when stimulated with, uh, with recombinant protein, and also they produce a very high amount of uh, TNF and interferon gamma, and this is uh, the evalu evaluation of, of, the, of the cells <coughs> that uh, uh, simultaneously produce IL-17 and TNF. So the, T cells were infiltrated the, the tissue and when stimulated were able to mount a Th1, Th17 response. Um, another very important point is uh, what happened uh, in, in, uh, in, in uh, cells that uh, negatively regulate the, the immune response. So we looked at the, at the at this subset of cells called the myeloid derived uh, suppressor cells that are cells of uh, uh, myeloid origin that uh, infiltrate the cells, infiltrate tumor uh, tissue and uh, block the, uh, the proliferative act activity of T cells. And when we look at the, 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 the percentage of these cells in the blood of the mice by using the uh, uh, two markers that, are, that are, are able to the Identify, identify this, uh, this subset, C11B and GR1. And what we observed that, uh, uh, in particular, after 12 weeks of vaccination, there was a significant reduction of uh, myeloid-derived 
uh, suppressor cells in, uh, in uh, vaccinated mice. Uh, this uh, uh, decrease was no more um, uh, statistically significant after 52 weeks and completely vanished after 76 uh, uh, weeks. But uh, also we looked at the, uh, the, uh, the staining in the pancreatic uh, tumor tissue for FOXP3 that is a marker for T-regulatory cells and uh, where in, uh, in empty vaccination, vaccinated mice there is a clearly the presence of uh, T-regs in NO1 vaccinated mice the, this percentage was completely uh, decreased and disappeared. Finally, we also look at the, at the therapeutical uh, potential of the, of the enolase vaccination. And uh, in, in, this, in this experiment, we, we, we took case, KC mice and they, uh, we vaccinated these mice at, after uh, eight, months, uh, at eight months of age. So we very, very, very late. And uh, we sacrificed these, uh, these mice uh, at 30 months. And uh, we look at the uh, number of transformant duct. And when we look at the number of transformant uh, duct, we, we did not observe significant difference uh, in NO1 uh, vaccinated mice, although there was a, a decrease. But when we look at the uh, dimension of the largest uh, focus in, 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 the, in the pancreatic, we, we observe a, a clearly significant uh, decrease of, 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 the, of the largest focus in, in NO1 vaccinated mice. So the, the scheme of, of this, uh, the, to summarize the effect of, of enolase vaccination, vaccination in, uh, in, uh, in, in gem mice through the uh, DNA vaccination is that uh, those mice can be vaccinated. This vaccination uh, first uh, induces a, uh, induce a production of the antibody uh, against enolase that are able to the, to the kill a tumor cell through the complement dependent cytotoxicity. There is a parallel induction of TH1 and TH17 uh, uh, induction. And uh, through the production of interferon gamma and IL-17, uh, those uh, two cytokines can uh, help the switch uh, toward the plasma cells that produce an antibody to, to produce uh, cytotoxic subclasses of, of the antibody. Uh, in parallel, the production of interferon gamma and TNF-alpha can uh, induce senescence in, uh, in tumor cells. And uh, in parallel, the, this uh, uh, vaccination uh, induces the, the inhibition of the, of the myeloid-derived uh, suppressor cells and the, the infiltration of Treg in the, in the uh, tumor area. So I think that uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, Enolase NO, is, is, is indeed a good candidate for immunotherapy in pancreatic cancer. We were able to show that uh, it is overexpressed in pancreatic cancer. Uh, it is uh, involved in uh, pancreatic cancer invasion and metastasis. It uh, induces uh, specific uh, autoantibodies and T cell response, uh, both in patient and in vaccinated. Uh, uh, GEM uh, is a very uh, good inducer of T-cell mediated anti-tumor response, both in vivo and in vitro. Also, we, we, we were able to, uh, to show that both uh, enolase specific factor and regulatory T-cells infiltrate tumoral tissue of, pan of, of uh, pancreatic cancer and uh, that alpha enolase specific cytotoxic T cells do not kill normal T cells. So it is, uh, uh, can be uh, safe, safety used in, 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 a, in a therapeutic setting. So uh, those data show that it, 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 it is important, it's possible to start from a, pot, a proteomic uh, platform uh, to move uh, into the translational research and to found uh, the way to, to link uh, the, 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 the research at the bench and to move to the bed of the patients. And uh, 
Finally, I would just uh, to thank people who uh, did this, uh, this, this work, in particular Paola Cappello, which is in the audience, uh, uh, Moiza Principe, which is also in the audience, uh, and the other collaborator of the lab, and uh, national, international collaborator that allow us uh, to achieve uh, uh, these results. And thank you for, for attention.